Hello everyone, back with an unboxing for my next project I'm going to be doing. It is a square as you can see, and it is called Comfortably Numb by... I have to show you sideways. There we go. By Mario Sanchez Nevado. It is a 22 by 31, 56 by 79 centimeters. So yeah, I'm going to give you a few details about this piece before I fully open it. Um, it is still available on Diamond Art Club's website. It is currently on sale too. Um, it is originally $64.99 American and it is currently on sale for 15% off. So it is $54.99. Uh, there are 51 colors and 3 ABs with 68,952 diamonds uh, and the description for this is when it seems that you when it seems that all you're doing is putting out fires keeping keep smiling and indulge in some guilty pleasures uh, take your meds enjoy a little screen time and then let your imagination run wild um, like I said still available uh, currently on sale. So, let's open this. I've had this piece for a few months, so I don't think it will have the um, newer toolkit, but we will see. It does have the, the newer toolkit. Um, so I'm going to go over this first. Also, I'll give you a quick tour of the box. On the back, there's instructions English, French, Spanish. Um, there's a discount code on the side. And yeah. So I'm going to go over this toolkit first. see what um, washi tape uh, and uh, what are they called? I can't remember what they're called. Um, but oh okay so these are their old tweezers, I believe. They are the pink um, to white gradient. They say Diamond Art Club on them. I'm not sure if it's focusing or not. It doesn't want to focus. But they say Diamond Art Club on them. They have these little uh, safety thing on there because they are very very sharp. The difference between a round and a square is the squares come with these tweezers. Um, we got an orange pen. I think this is my first orange pen. One second. There we go. We have an orange squishy to go on the pen. We have two things of wax. I love that they come in this little hard container. We have this really pretty washi tape with gold hearts and dots. This might be my favorite one that I have so far. Cover minder, that was the word I was thinking of. We have a heart cover minder. I think I already have this one. Um, I'm not sure. And then we get a tray with two multi-placers. One is a four and one is a seven. The tray does come with a stopper. 
so none of your drills can run away from you. This is a seven, right? Yes, this is a seven. The other one's a four. Then we have a little bag of baggies. In case you like to keep your drills and baggies. I'm not big on the baggies, but I do collect them in case I ever need them. Uh, so far I haven't needed them, but hey, you never know, right? So, I'm going to put this to the side. And we can get into our diamond painting. Oh, yes, here's our sticker. All of Diamond Art Club uh, pieces come with a sticker. Uh, some people like to put them on their boxes for their storage. I just um, collect them. Also, I'm really sorry if you can hear my cat right now. Um, okay, that's all that is in the box. All of the projects come in this lovely dust bag with Diamond Art Club and our logo, Do It Makes You Sparkle. I keep the dust bags for when I'm done with them so that way I can keep them in here for storage so that way, you know, anything falls off or, you know, I need to travel. They're all protected in this. So, here's our drills. Make sure that's everything. Yep. Okay, so we get a nice thank you pamphlet. Uh, this is the back of it with some QR codes. Um, if you want to get the app, there's tips and tricks, what's included. Uh, nice YouTube tutorial video, Facebook group, and some more instructions. And then we have our sticker sheet. These are all individually cut stickers. Start date, end date, uh, canvas size, everything you need to know information wise for your piece. And it looks like our ABs are 132, 133, and 141. I will go over drills in a second, but I want to look at this canvas first. Also, the drills are labeled in case you store your drills separately. They are nice and labeled for you. So I think I'm going to have to do this sideways. Um, because it's going to be too long this way, but I will try. First, I'm going to roll it backwards. Um, this is a, with Diamond Art Clubs, with the glue they use, you can roll it backwards just to help make it flatten a little bit faster even though they do flatten pretty quickly. Um, if you get a piece that is double slitted adhesive, which Diamond Art Club does not hold, it will have an opaque cover over it and you do not want to roll it backwards because it can ruin the glue. So, oh goodness, all my stuff is... Whew. Yeah, so this is bigger than the desk. Let me see if I'm zoomed out all the way. I am. So, we will have to sort of pan upward. <laughs> um, I love this smiley face pin. So, I had been getting, I think if I do this way, you might be able to. Yeah, you can pretty much see the whole thing this way. 
uh, yeah. So I had been getting ads for this piece for a long time and was debating if I wanted to get it or not. And then I saw Gracie's Diamond World unbox this and immediately after watching that was like, okay, I need to go get this piece. I am going to uh, flatten this really quickly. Um, you see these sort of bubbles on here? It is just air between this clear sheet and the actual canvas. Um, it's not going to hurt it when I squeegee it. I'm just going to do this as quickly as possible. Also, um, little fun fact about me, I'm really bad at figuring out, like, what the sizes of things are. Um, so, like, I never truly know how big something is. Project wise, I'm sorry, you could probably just only see my head and part of my face. Um, but, one second. Face reveal if you saw my face. <laughs> um, because I haven't really had my face in any of these videos yet. I had my face in my first video ever, and then I ended up deleting it because I didn't like it. The video. Not that my face was in it. But for this type of content, I don't really, for the most part, really think that you get much value from seeing my face. So that's why I don't show it. Also, my cat just being really loud um, to the side of me. Okay, so now it is a lot, a lot flatter. I'm going to scoot this back over. But this is comfortably numb. Um, so I am someone who has to take medications every day. And this was just kind of like a, I relate to this, like needing to take time to take care of myself to, you know, after a long day, just take my meds. Watch something, relax, diamond paint. <laughs> um, so yeah, here's this. I'm not sure how I'm going to work on this for whipping Chats because it is so big, but I'm sure I can figure it out. Um, right now, this is on a sh this phone is being held up on a shelf, so I'm sure if I want to do a whipping Chat or something, I can just put it on the shelf above it. And you'd be able to see it a little bit better, but for the moment, I'm not going to do that. I am, however, going to try to show you where some of these AVs are, because you can see pretty much the whole piece. So, our number ones, which is a 132, it's an orange color. Looks like it is here. Um... Over here, I think that's it. That's all I'm seeing. Yeah, that's all I really see. Number two is a really like a darker orange, almost a red color. That is his the shoulder. And these here, a little bit here, here. Um, right here, this area, and a little bit over there. And number three is our white 141. Um, that is 
right in this here outline. Tiny bit here. And that is all I'm seeing right now. But it does look like color blocking, color blocking, mostly color blocking. It looks like mainly mainly color blocking so I think I can get through this really fast I'm not really seeing like to make when I do my sections where it'll be a bunch of confetti um you know maybe right like this trail like as a whole is a bit of confetti but really the main thing of it is color blocking like all of this one color, this, one color, you know, just these sort of trails of one color. So there's that. I am going to go over the trails now. Um, 54 colors. So these will be in my Harbor Freight containers. You're going to hear some crinkling. while I open this. Look at this right away. All of this, 3371. Oop, one more one. 413, just like a gray, bluish gray. Three, eight. Five four three seven two one seven two eight three eight six one three five six three hundred four three seven four o oh, two seven five eight three eight five seven. Three five seven seven three eight three five nine zero five three six zero nine one six six three two seven nine three nine nine six one three eight zero seven seven four two uh, 823, which I don't know if it's going to show up, but it's just a really dark blue. 890-132. This is AB number one, that orange color um, that I showed you. Not very much of it. 312. A little bit of hitchhikers in there. 336. Three eight three four three four three three one four one, which is our white AB. Not a lot in here. Seven four zero seven three seven four three. Three eight five three nine four five three eight three zero one thirty three, which is a darker orange color, AB four three six, which kind of matches me. <laughs> um, four hundred four three five five three eight six zero. Three zero six four six six six, which is just a really bright red color. Three seven seven zero six three two three zero one three seven seven two three two one 
three seven seven six three one two three four bags of nine three eight which is a dark purple I believe I can't really tell if it's purple or brown uh, I think it's not both right? four bag four bags of that Okay, on to our last string of diamonds. Two bags of 814, one bag of 779, three, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, seven bags of 310. If you do not like 310, this is not the project for you. I'm perfectly fine working with 310. I recently got the piece called Lilith, and I haven't opened it yet, but that piece is like almost entirely black and grays. Um, it might be my next square piece, but like I do on the channel, square, then round, then square, then round, back and forth. One, one bag of three seven nine nine. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight bags of three three seven one. This is again. I cannot tell if this is a brown or a purple, but it is really dark. And then our last one, 8.15. This is 4.13, which we saw earlier. But, I'm going to give you one more sort of final look at this canvas. Um, Yeah, I'm really excited to work on this. Like I said, lots of color blocking should go by pretty quickly. Um, yeah, very little ABs, which I do actually like for this piece. Um, let me think. Yeah, I think that is it. I'm excited to start working on this. There will be a, a video of me kidding this up, which I'm going to try to do in a little bit of a different style than I normally do. Uh, it'll be a bit of an experiment, so if it ends up not sounding the best with the way that I want to do it, then, you know, I know not to do it that way. <laughs> but, like I said, I really liked this piece because you know, sometimes we need a reminder to just relax, take care of ourselves. Um, I'm currently in the process of redecorating as a very big self-care project for me. Um, yeah, I'm really excited to get into this. I don't know how many sections I'm going to break this down into, but we will figure that out when I get this up and prepare the canvas. Um, so, I will talk to you later. I hope you have a good rest of your day. Remember to try and take care of yourself, get your three meals a day in, drink your water, do some stretching, um, and I will see you in the next video. Bye.